That is a big cursor. Oh boy, what resolution are we playing in right now? Hey guys, welcome to Elmanish Gothic. Ah, oh, it's oh, I turned it down already. It's still loud. I, that's a sound effect. What era is this from? I can tell just from the sound effects that's definitely Japanese, right? There's like a particular style to menus and whatnot. All right, coming back in 1080p once it renders. There we go. Much better. All right. Today we're trying Elmanage Gothic part four of, I guess, first person dungeon crawler week. We did a 451 cyberpunk, uh, Ebony Spire, other ones. Hiyaki Cat. Yeah, Hiyaki Castle. That was the other one. All right, so we're in part four of this there. I got one more. This is the penultimate one. There's... I've had a... Whoa, that font does not fit on the screen. Can I turn down the font sizes, I wonder? I would hope so. It's probably fine. The important thing is I got into 1080. Let's, let's give it a... No. New game. There we go. Let's give it a go. In ancient times, the great gods and dark gods quarreled over man's control of the world. Great, do great, do great gods and dark gods. The gods' dispute of hegemony brought disaster to the lives of humans. The people starved and were unable to withstand the strife of the earth. On the earth. Eventually, the great gods sought to, ste to seal the power of the dark gods through the faith of humans. They're not called the good gods, they're called the great, or not the light gods, but the, the great gods. Whoa. Thereby, the contract of, between humans and gods was formed. There are now two Almanage Gothics on my start menu. That's worrying. Did one of them just... Oh. D D3 error out of memory. That's a good sign. Out of video memory. No, you're not. You didn't run out of video memory playing this game. Oh, God damn it. BRB. <laughs> Thereby, the contract between humans and the gods was formed. We've rebooted the game. I believe in you. You can make a game. By the contract, the dark gods could not interfere with the world of humans and were sealed in their world of darkness. The people worshipped the gods in thanks of their prosperity, and the world entered an era of peace. However... Humans grew complacent, and the dark powers reaching out in secret planted the seeds that would bring about the revival of the Dark Gods into the hearts of men. To the east of the continent was the kingdom of Ishmag. I Ishmag. Okay. To the east of the continent was the kingdom... Oh, we're... King Jeldon brought about... A time of peace, but recently there is a rumor throughout the land. It is said that monsters have appeared in the distant caves of Tsun Kun. Those who escaped from the caves with their lives are too frightened to speak, and many others have not returned at all. To challenge these rumors, the king has called for an assembly to investigate these happenings. This is a bar where adventurers meet. Oh, the tavern. Gotcha. Uh, can I make the font smaller? Huh. This, I think this is a remake or a reboot or a remaster or something. It might have been made for a smaller resolution originally, because, like, you could fit all this text on the screen. It's fine. Okay. So, the tavern, in shop. These are all familiar ideas. Recovery and resurrection. Browse through various books and view your adventure progress report <laughs> perform character registration map all right let's meet some heroes i guess it just dumps you in uh call allies uh fighter 
Valkyrie, cleric, bishop, maybe? Thief, m m mage, alchemist, sir? What would sir stand for? I don't even know what Nigo Ni means either. Uh, let's find out what a sir is. Ba boom! What? He's a Durgan. Alright, let's get a fighter. And a magician. The magician's a cat lady. Neat. Uh, a bishop? That's about what I thought they'd look like. What is it? Is it a Valkyrie? Yep. Oh, her name's even Gunild. She's got a Valkyrie name. Cool. Uh, I don't have a, th a thief character necessarily. Although, Valkyrie. Who are you again? Wait, were you a thief already? I might have lost track. Let's get a. Eh, let's do bring an alchemist. Hilde. Gunild Hilde. Alright, Durant, Balin, everyone's cool. Alright, character status. That's just a dragon. Uh, what was the class I was con Servant. Your class is Servant? I would have never guessed that. Their race is Dragon Newt? Tucker Kane. Human. Fighter. Balian Drake. You think his name would be Drake, huh? Were Beast. Alright. Mina Sarka. Mage. Right, she was a mage. Durant Abate. Elf male. Gunil Svad, another human. A gnome! Ah! Hell, there's a gnome. I didn't realize that. Alchemist Valkyrie Bishop. Hey, I got that one right. Mage Fighter Servant. Huh. Okay. How's equipment going? You have you guys have equipment? Okay, everybody everybody's pre-equipped. That's very good news for me, because I don't know if I have money. Split money. Oops, I'm collect money. Oh, if I say, if I say collect money, it goes to one character. If I say split money, it splits between all of them. Gotcha. 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 Let's just see what a what the gameplay is like with the party we've got, and see how that goes. I suppose. Changes party ranks. I want to put the fighter in front. You were a mage, right? Oh, this is our chance to see their full character models. He doesn't look like a servant. He looks sarcastic. Alright, so fighter in front. There's a bishop. Valkyrie. Let's do Valkyrie. Servant. And these are all my spellcastery type characters. That is a hell of a physical character model for a mage, by the way. She, I think she has both a boob plate and ab plates in her in her armor, which is a trip, on top of having green hair. Alright. Uh, talk? Barkeep. Welcome. We've got some fine drinks in today. Okay, for something to drink. Yep, that's what a bar is. <laughs> anyway. The people gather in the plaza to hear a decree. By order of the king, an investigation into recent rumors will be taken. All volunteers may step forward to enlist. Anyone who can confirm these rumors shall be rewarded. That is all. Dungeon. The, the caves of soon. Okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a go. Kingdom of Ishmag, I'm out of here. I'm in, gonna go up to this monster ranking one place. One day passes. Alright. Let's find out what gameplay looks like. Cannot open map. No. I e. Huh. E is mapped to map. I want to strafe. But okay. A group of weapon-bearing men are facing this way. What will you do? Speak. Oi, move aside, we're leaving this place. This cave is too dangerous. No number of lives could save you. You'd be wise to go no further. The men have fled. Huh. Dude, it's a monster level one. You guys never had a chance at doing anything, apparently. E. Kind of a pleasant... Something's vaguely pleasant about the art for some reason to me. Oh god, every direction looks exactly the same. That's where I came from, right? You encountered something. 
I'm kind of digging like the PS2 retro aesthetic. It's kind of, it, I kind of get a kick out of it. But I would definitely am immediately like, oh no, I don't know which way I'm facing. This is a problem. Uh, so we're fighting Thresher Maws or something. Cool. Uh, spells? You can't use spells. All right. Attack. They're earthworms. God, they're a nightmare. Andy's circus died to these things. It was tragic. Wait, is there two rows because there's actually eight earthworms? There is. There's something behind them that's a different enemy. Okay. Spells. Cleric? Fiera? Wait, okay. Recovers a small amount of HP for a single ally. Fiaria. Huh. That's a name. Arias? Blesses the whole party's weapons to attack ghosts and undead. I don't think that's what they are. High probability of silencing a single enemy. I don't think they're spellcasters. All right, nobody nobody needs heals, so now not right now. They have spells per day, though. Look at this. So they get, they have a bunch of different classes, and then this is how many level. I think this is like how many level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spells they have. Seven. Never mind. But like like. In, in D and D, you love like this many spells per day of each tier, and I think they're doing that here too. Ah, oh, skill dispel. Ghost and immortal type monsters. What was the first word? Undoes the curses of. Okay. No, none of that's happening yet either. All right, let's just do an attack. Uh, let's focus fire. I don't know how strong these guys are. Spells. You can't use spells. Your skill is breathe. You have a breath attack. Because you're a Durgan. I want to see that. Let's do a breath attack on that guy. Alright, skill. No available skills for you, but you have spells because you're a mage. Ooh. You have four level one spells per day. Ballad. Attack a single enemy with flames. Miasma. High probability of putting a single enemy to sleep. Dio Seed. Displays the, uh, the map of all floors in the current dungeon. Neat. Not relevant to the fight, but neat. Level 2 spells. Balados. Attack a row of enemies with fire. Glass. Attack a single enemy with ice. Ramisama. Has a chance of putting a row of enemies to sleep. Venom. High probability of poisoning a single enemy. Right, I don't know how strong any of these spells are, so I'm going to like spread them out a little bit so I don't accidentally overinvest on one enemy. Let's, let's hit somebody with fire. This guy. Alright. Durant. Dispel. Alright, you got you also have dispel. You have mage and cleric spells. Okay, so you have the flame attack, the sit sleep attack and Dio Seed, Cleric, Heal, Bless the Party. Yeah. He has the same spells as the other two characters. Okay. Slightly weird person to bring along then, but I didn't know what the parties were. Cool. I should probably cast a spell because I don't know how good you're gonna be gonna be at fighting as a melee user. And an alchemist. Alright. No available skills. Alchemy skills. You have Pomadune. It's a breath attack. Rude has a high probability of paralyzing a single enemy. Maha Maha uh, lets all party members escape from battle. Hey, that's neat. Portal identifies booby trap chests. What? Huh, it's not what I thought what Portal would do. Raw Rude has a high chance of paralyzing a row of enemies. I got an ultimate, ultimate Rude. Bula Fey hides a single end ally, removing him or her from the enemy's target list. Shorek raises the speed of all allies. Stackable. Neat. How about you attack? Uh, focus fire with the fire person over here. Oh, cool. He missed. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. All right. A lot of misses happened. A little hard to keep track of the actions because they kind of go rapid fire, but you can't see who's doing what very well, but definitely saw some uh, some melee attacks that missed altogether. The big, num big damage numbers though, like 20 plus, considering everybody in this party has like 35 to 11 health. That's 20 plus damage is a lot to do in one hit. If they're at, if the enemies are comparable to us, and they seem to be. Wow. Yeah, there's a big gap between 35 and, and 11 here. 
Huh. Do you have a skill? You don't have a skill or, or any spells, so you, you just attack things. These are Ui... Ui Wakshias. Okay. Let's screw some dudes up. And all of you guys melee attack this one over here. Oh. Durant can't attack. He can only use spells. Gotcha. Alright. I don't think a single person in my party took a, a single bit of damage, did they? Uh oh. Minor damage. Wow. We are fantastic at missing so far, is the takeaway. Let's just focus fire one guy and hope somebody can figure out how to hit them. Because there's not a lot of incoming damage, so I don't think I need to s spam all of my spells right now. Defend? Yourself, I guess? I guess you pick a target for your defend. Oh! Little incoming damage. Oh. Okay, they auto-target somebody else when the other, other guy is dead. Oh, they keep missing! Balian attacks twice per turn. And he's great at missing both times. I'm trying not to spend all my spells here. Whoa. Okay, so everyone came pre-leveled. They're all level 5 already. Wow, did you just loop the victory music? Do it again, I dare you. There, yep, there they go again. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to do that. That might be a mistake. Ooh. Examine. Who will examine the chest? Uh, Durant. No. Hilda. Trap report. None. Okay. Uh, let's do... Who will examine the chest? What? No. I'm done examining. Open the chest, slave. But no trap was sprung. The treasure chest opened. Question mark junk acquired. It looks like a giant sword stabbing into a pile of gold. It's not really mysterious. Got 38 GP. Alright. This is charming. Hi. Friend? Friend. We saved our strength and managed to get this far, but the party balance was bad, and we've had some tough fights. Are you giving me metagame advice? I knew I should have recruited party members by registering at the Tavern Guild. <laughs> I said so, didn't I? Let's use our magic to leave. Or so I'd like to say. There's no helping it. Aww. They're giving me advice via their strife. Tucker spots a herb. Will you take it? Yes. Mystery herb was obtained. Thanks, Tucker. You're so helpful, Tucker. How do I open my inventory? The gun characters doesn't do anything. Tab. T. I already pressed E. E is the map, apparently, but I don't have a map. Oh, escape. Oh, that doesn't seem to be what I did, though. Adventure records. I've been playing for 17 minutes. I have eight... eight characters? I didn't know I had eight characters. Okay. I don't know how to use the herb. Maybe you do it after the whole dungeon's over? Oh, hello, dead end. Is this wall open or anything? I haven't really seen any evidence of secrets yet. Oh, when I walked in, it looked like it was a straight hallway, but there's a side path. Cool. <laughs> For all the good that did me, huh? Uh, he's gonna just repeat himself again. I'll see you later, buddy. I got my party figured out. We're a bunch of mega badasses, and we're going to dominate this shit. You encountered something. Ah, this time it's a row of slime creatures. Okie dokie. 
Because you have cleric spells too. I might as well focus fire with these guys because uh, if they kill their target, they'll just switch the next one and they're all identical. Was there a target all spell? Like a row of enemies with the fire. Do I want to do I want to break that kind of stuff out yet? Let's see how dangerous they are. Let's go low cost for now. Wow, they don't even have five health. In the in the first fight, I went in big and scary. I was like, bam, twenty seven damage. These guys have five health. <laughs> I may have overinvested. Although it'd be great if they could, if my guys could hit ever. They're not, they're not an impressive bunch. Six damage. My mage, my mage is better at fighting melee attacks, my, fighting in melee than my Valkyrie is. That's a mark of shame. Admittedly, my mage looks like the biggest warrior of my entire party, but you know, portraits. I don't know, maybe were beasts are really suited to melee combat, and I just got the bad luck of. The fact that the guy at the tavern was a werebeast mage of all things. Or maybe she's just a catch-all mega badass. There's poison needles. Uh-oh. Alright, remove trap. Tucker. Remove... Poison needles. Oops, poison needles. That's what I said. Tucker avoided the attack. I said, oops, poison needles, as if I was wrong, but I clicked on that. I thought we were supposed to diagnose the type of trap and then disable it. Oh well. Got a lot of money, no one got hurt. Just almost got hurt. Really wish I had a map. I wonder if I could have bought one somewhere? Or if maybe I can find one? This is a complicated environment. This is a tiny room right here. Oh, it's got an enemy. The adventurers made a surprise attack. Did I sneak up on the puff balls? Page down, repeat command. Page up, button, complete actions in order. There's a bunch of little prompts here about text, about uh, shortcut keys. Please select a command. E button is all out attack. Okay. I'm not going to press page up and page down because those are my hotkeys for recording. That'd be bad. All out attack. Oh. So E is the just, just go for it. Okay, so if I'm fighting enemies that I'm not convinced I need to use tactics on, just, just hit E. Wow, they hit. Dun, dun, dun. Examine it, Hilda. Magic drain. All right. Remove, let's do remove trap with a character who doesn't use magic. Balian failed to remove the trap. Alright. Uh. Fuck it. Open it, but open it with Tucker who doesn't have magic, right? Or Balian, he doesn't have magic. Oh no, magic drain. I lost one MP. No, everyone lost an MP. That wasn't the plan. Oh. Did they just lose their MP stat? What does MP refer to? Because I think they have spells per day instead of a magic meter. All out attack, do it. Wow. Gunild hit for 15. Gunild is just better at combat than Balian. I guess being a fighter means Balian's a good tank. Because he does have a ton of hit points. I don't think the game has actually explained this because it hasn't really explained anything, but I assume the first three people are the first row and the second three people are the second row and therefore they can't be attacked as much. That's usually how this kind of stuff works. So, Balian leveled up. And there's a treasure chest again, you'll be shocked to find. Oops, rock slide. Hilda avoided the attack. We got a spear. Cool. I, uh... 
That was a weird encounter. So I tried examining it, but Hilda got triggered a rock slide trap, I guess, just by examining it. So even examining can be dangerous. Curses. I've lost my way. I should not have been so stingy and refused to buy the magic map. Yeah, I wish I had the magic map. I didn't really know that was a thing to watch out for, honestly. Oh, look at him. He's so alone. Kill him. <laughs> there we go. Hey, it's the first fight to not have a chest. I'm starting to wonder how old these monsters always have a chest to turn around with. I'm gonna get so lost, and by gonna get, I mean I am already. Am I gonna have to start doing the like hug the right wall tactic to get around? Because I am in a bad shape right now. If you want to strengthen your magic, you should equip a magic seal according to your spell type. A flame seal for the flame magic and the like. A light seal will improve restorative magic as well. If you encounter an enemy who uses the same magic type, their attacks will have less effect on you, too. However, if you equip two of the same type, it'll only work one way, so be careful. Huh. With this many adventurers around here, you'd think that all the monsters would be dead by now. <laughs> this place is packed. Is this like a war zone in here or something? Ooh, glowy bit. What do you do? Are you good, bad? Something is wriggling in the shadow of the rock. You can hear a faint scream coming from the mass. What will you do? Investigate. The wriggling mass was a group of unusual monsters. The monsters attack. Oh no, I'm sorry for interrupting your orgy. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Oh no. Oh, I didn't need this visual in my brain. These are horrible. Can I not, can I take it back? <laughs> I mean, it did, it did call them a wriggling mass, so I don't know what I expected. You guys are horrible, so I'm gonna definitely use some spells to wipe you out, given the chance. Breath attack. Burn them. Burn them all. You do not have a lot of spells. Say a small amount of HP. How small is small, though? Ghosts and immortal type. I don't know what these are. Besides the worst thing. And I'm kind of waiting for like some kind of boss fight to show up or something. Maybe that's unreasonable. Oh, he did. Wow, thanks for the breath attack. It did one damage to one guy. I've never seen such a sorry breath attack. Fuck it. E. Wow, he took... Oh, they have hit points. Not like a mountain of them, but more than I'd want. Ooh. Ooh, they're focusing. All right, we're not really, not really hitting out of the park right now, are we? Come on, there you go. There we go. Level up. Kill the leveled up. Does that heal them? With the unusual monsters vanquished, a man emerges from the mass. The man who had been entwined by the monsters appears to have lost spirit. Ugh. Ah, stop. I beg of you, stop. The man is plagued by illusions of the monsters. Hilda looks like they have full... She probably already had full health before she leveled up, though, huh? Ah, stop. Okay. Don't know if I can do anything about that. You encountered something! Oh, familiar. Oh! Oh, they're kind of cute. Look at them with the giant eyes. Kill. Kill them to death. Uh oh. Okay. Starting to get in a little bit more danger now.
Oops. Right, you're only a mage. A mage. Let's have you use your cleric spell to recover health on Gunild. Uh-oh. Please heal her. Hey! A small amount of health is her almost her entire bar. Okay. Now we know what that means. That's why it's always handy if games just actually tell you what a spell means, instead of just being vague about it. We need to diminish the number of baddies here. It's becoming bad news for us. I would like to reach the second row, though. Oh. Oh, did I... Oh. Whoops. I didn't realize I was clicking on the second row. I didn't realize I could even click on the second row. I figured you'd only attack the front row. Because they never attacked my back row. Just kind of stood out to me. Oh my god. When I get lucky, I deal a lot of damage. Hey! Four out of six have leveled up now. Yeah, it does not heal you. Oops, magic drain. Oh. At least at least we got a sword, you guys. Uh, a friendly looking monster appeared. Will you fight it? Don't fight. He's friendly. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Anyway, guys, this is Elmanage Gothic. Uh, if you like what you see here and you want to check it out, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. It seems like a neat enough game, if, if this is the exact kind of thing you're going for. Uh, I'm definitely a little lost. Definitely should have bought the map. So pro tip, buy the map, because you're going to die. Uh, judging by the, the characters, you the way you recruit them, I think that they might actually die for good when they die. So that's an, that's interesting. This might have some, some some stuff in common with like Darkest Dungeon in that way, where like you have the a bunch of disposable mercenaries being your your cast of characters. Decent art. There's some there's some stuff going on here. I like the portraits at least. Uh, thank you to the developer sending me a code so I could preview their game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.